See that? That there is a cluster of barrier vines. The blue ones. I bet he'd love to try some chocolate. Sometimes imagine. You sure you don't need to upgrade that? Ow, ow, ow! Oh, next time. down now. It's a healthy looking bird. Why, thank you. You wouldn't believe that not so long ago, he was so injured he could barely walk. Is that right? Yes. He's completely better now, though. He can run like the wind, all thanks to the herb I gave him. Must be a powerful medicine. What's it called? Why are you so interested? Oh, you're the person who found the Angel of Valhalla, right? I think I can help you. The herb is called Yule's Flower. It's a very beautiful flower that grows out east. Yule's Flower, huh? Yes. If you find one, let your chocobo graze on it. If you pick it yourself, it's not nearly as effective. Actually, speaking of that, can I ask you a favor? If you do get the Angel of Valhalla to eat some Yule's Flowers, could you bring him to me afterwards? I could, but why? Well, it's just that I want to check something. Well, if chocobos can learn how to speak, and if the angel is smarter than the rest... Do you really think they can talk? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, if you do go to the ruins in the east, be careful. There are scary monsters roaming around.
Another battle won. Welcome. Tell me, how is the Angel of Valhalla? Well, he hasn't gotten any worse. That's good to hear. Now it looks like you collected all the ingredients we need. I'll get straight to work. Here you go, one batch of chocobo. This is some of the best chocobo I've ever made. Why? <laughs> that cough. You can't keep going on like this. Where's the nearest doctor? I'll take you. <laughs> it's no use. The doctors can't do anything. Sorry, what do you mean? They say, well, I don't have much time left. Of course, no one grows older and no one dies of old age, but disease and accidents can still take us, and apparently it's my time. I'd been hoping that I'd at least make it to the end of the world. I wanted to see what it would be like, but at least I was able to make medicine for the Angel of Valhalla before I breathed my last. Not to mention, thanks to the ingredients you found, it was the best chocobo that I'd ever made. It makes all the hard work worthwhile. And now, I just have one last task to do. One last task? What's that? Oh, I'm rambling again. It's just a personal thing. Forget it. Now, don't you have a chocobo to look after? By the way, you haven't seen any red crim mushrooms around, have you? No, I don't suppose you have. No one has. Never mind then. If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. Hey, Light. Why don't you try feeding some of that to the chocobo? Come on, you can do it. The legendary red mushrooms. I suppose they really are extinct now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
that sounds painful. <clears throat> the cough I don't mind. What hurts is not being able to help a patient. When I can't make the medications that someone really needs, that's the worst thing about being... You're not talking about a chocobo. What's the story? It sounds like there's someone you want to help. Yes, if I could, I would do anything to take away that person's pain. I know the medication and how to make it. But I just can't find the key ingredient on my own. What is it that you need? A legendary red mushroom. <clears throat> People call it the Krim Mushroom. But they all disappeared hundreds of years ago. I've been searching all this time, hoping I might still find a surviving colony. Is the mushroom all you need to make the concoction? Well, no. <clears throat> there are other things I'll need. Uh, this is the recipe. I'll need all of this. I'm sorry to ask, but... About an herb, something called Yule's. Yule's flower, huh? Wait, she told you to give one of those flowers. Good guess. Ah, uh, I knew it. She does seem obsessed about talking chocobos. Oh, yeah. It can cure chocobo injuries fast. Adi is a bit kooky, and that gets her into trouble sometimes. Not that you have to worry about her at all. Nope. Keeping her safe is my job, even if she.
formations. The bear cliffs stretch for miles around. You'll need the help of a chocobo if you want to get anywhere in this terrain. <laughs> Strange to say, the people have built a village out here. Polta, inhabited by followers of the goddess Etro. what you want.
So this is it. A Yule's flower. They tell me this will make you strong. Here, eat it. <laughs> well, looks like it worked. Nadia's the one who told me about the flower, and she's anxious to see you. Let's go to Yagd and thank her in person. Are you all right? What happened? Que? Is that all you can say? Oh, darn. I guess it didn't work. You were just pretending to be sick? Why would you do that? Um, well, it's kind of an embarrassing story, but we're friends now, aren't we? I used to live in Yusnan. But I had a big falling out with my family, and I ran away from home. Back in the city, I was treated like a princess. I just had to snap my fingers to get whatever I wanted. But that's not real living, is it? I got tired of that life. I wanted to fend for myself, survive by my own skill. But you didn't realize just how hard that would be. I lasted three whole days before I collapsed in the woods, weak from thirst. And that's when this little guy came along just in time. He must have been injured too, because he was holding a Yule's flower in his beak. I thought to myself, I'm going to die, but at least I'll have this beautiful chocobo to watch over me as I go. But then, something even more incredible and beautiful happened. The chocobo spoke to me, as clear as I'm talking to you now. Hang in there, he said. You mustn't die. At first, all I could do was stare in shock, but then... His words began to sink in. I realized he was trying to save my life. Anyway, right after that, some villagers found me, and they nursed me back to health. But I'm sure that I wouldn't have been alive when they found me if it wasn't for my little chocobo. Ah, uh, you owe him your life. Crap. So that's what your little play acting was about. You thought if you could convince the chocobo that you were dying, he might start talking to you again, like he did the first time. Yep. I was trying to recreate the scene just like it happened, with the Yule's flower in the beak and everything. And to be honest, I could do with a chocobo giving me encouragement again. Life has been... getting me down. I thought if I could hear the chocobo talk again, he might cheer me up like the last time. <laughs> I know it's stupid. 
Chocobos can't talk. Oh, I guess it was just in my head that first time. It's all right. You'll find what you're looking for. What? Don't turn around. I... You're searching for meaning to your life, and you're going to find it. I know you will. In fact, maybe you already have, if you really, really think about it. Sometimes you lose your way. Sometimes the going gets so steep you fall, but the path is always there in front of you. You just have to keep going. Yes, you're right. It is there, and I do see it. Thank you.